In this video, we are meal prepping some breakfast items, including apple muffins, some little McGriddle things, <laughs> as well as a fun, delicious Nutella treat. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, like I mentioned at the beginning, we will be making and preparing three different things for breakfast items throughout our week. And we're gonna start off with the more complicated recipe and progress to easier and easier meals throughout this video. So we're starting with making some apple bread muffins. This is a recipe that I've shared previously on my channel and I will link to a video where it's like the straight recipe video if you guys want to make this by yourself. So the first thing I'm doing is just measuring out a lot of the dry ingredients in one bowl and then we'll be doing some more of the wet ingredients along with the sugar in another bowl and then just combining them before adding in the apples. And what you see me doing here is I'm actually measuring out using a measuring cup the ingredients, but also using my food scale and writing these measurements or the weights on my recipe card so that in the future, I don't have to break out all of my measuring cups or measuring spoons or things like that. I have found that having a food scale makes my baking life so much easier because all you really have to do is pour out your ingredients until you reach that weight and then you're good. You don't have to measure off and scrape and spoon things in and all of that stuff. So if you don't have a food scale, I highly recommend it. It's not necessary for baking, but it definitely makes life easier, especially when it comes to cleanup. So at the very end of adding in the dry ingredients to the wet, I saved just a little bit of the flour mixture to toss the apples in so that they can kind of stay suspended in the bread instead of like going down to the bottom of the muffins. This is a thicker batter than some of the other batters I've worked with in the past, but it really is delicious. It has elements of cinnamon, and so it really gives off fall vibes, especially now that it's fall. But I also make this year round because they are just very, very yummy. Now when these looked like they were done, I did stick a toothpick in and noticed that some of the batter was still coming out. So I put them back in the oven just for a couple more minutes and then it was time to check them again and the toothpick came out clean. Moving on, we're gonna be making like a, I don't know if it's a McGriddle Essentially, we're just making pancakes, sausage, and eggs, and then we're gonna be tossing them together in a, the form of a sandwich. But we're gonna go ahead and start by heating up my pan. I like to do like 375 degrees, I believe, when I'm making pancakes. And I've noticed that if you don't use like cooking spray, the pancakes actually come out better when using at least a nonstick pan. So that is my like one little tip to you guys. If you're using a stove to cook your pancakes, I like using medium low heat. And that I have found like is a perfect pancake every time. So to make these kind of more uniform, I am using these round cookie cutters that I've got. These two are two different sizes, but they are very similar in size. And so that's why I'm just using these two. I have a whole bunch more that are circular and they get smaller and smaller, but I didn't want 
to have too much variation when it came to the size of the pancakes. Now I love using cookie cutters to make pancakes even though it's time consuming because you actually get a nice thick pancake as it rises in the cookie cutter. The sides also kind of like cook because the metal of the cookie cutter is pretty warm and they just are like the perfect looking pancake. They're nice and thick and obviously a perfect circle. And I don't always put maple syrup like drizzle it in the pancake batter but I did want that element or that flavor in the little sandwich that we will be creating and I've seen people do this I like how when you you know pour the maple syrup in right after pouring the batter it actually kind of goes in the middle of the pancake if you do it towards the end and like you forget the syrup will kind of start to like crystallize or whatever because it didn't actually go into the pancake and get covered in batter So next up, we will be cracking and scrambling a bunch of eggs. These are eggs from our hens. If you guys are new here, we actually have some chickens. And it's really been a fun activity for the kids to have chickens as pets. <laughs> so if you want more content regarding the chickens, let me know down below in the comments. But here I'm going to be essentially doing the same process that I did with the pancakes, but with the eggs and also cooking up some sausage as well. One thing that I will do in the future is just do a whole sheet pan of the scrambled eggs and then use the cookie cutter to just cut out circular portions of the scrambled egg. I think that would make my life a lot easier than what I did in this process. So I figured since I was really hungry after working with all this food, I would go ahead and make myself a sandwich. I am usually the type of person to like eat everything separately, but I took a bite and I really liked it. So I highly recommend. I did assemble some and wrap some in parchment paper and then saran wrap to be microwaved later on. And then I also kept little pieces separate if anyone wanted to enjoy them separately or a different combo. Our last breakfast item is going to be some Nutella crescent rolls. So I realized like you could do this. It never crossed my mind, but when I went to a Costco with my mom, they were like serving crescent rolls with Nutella on the inside. And when we had it, we were just like, oh my gosh, this is so delicious. <laughs> and so I figured this would be a very easy breakfast to share with you guys. This is just a very sweet and delicious treat to have in the morning. We had some family over this day and so I figured we'd go ahead and make these. But you just spread the Nutella on before you roll up your little crescent roll and then you bake it according to the instructions and like I said, it is delicious. While we are in the kitchen, I thought I would share a nice new product with you. I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this set of two storage wire baskets with wooden lids and plastic inserts. The wire pieces simply unfold and snap into place. Once the side pieces are secure, you attach the wooden top with the provided screws. I loosely secured all three screws first before tightening them. The set that we received contained one basket that has a large square base and a smaller basket that is the same width but just not as deep. 
These baskets are perfect for storing food, organizing towels in the bathroom, organizing laundry items in your laundry room, or would take your coffee station to the next level. We have similar baskets in a different color, also from Mayfort, above our coffee station, and we love them. I've shared them in a previous video, which I will link up above. We've decided to use these baskets to store our fruit on our kitchen counter. You can store them side by side or stacked one on top of the other, or you can hang them using the provided hardware. The set also comes with some plastic hooks that can attach anywhere on the wire rack. If you are planning on storing fruit in these containers like we are, these hooks would work perfectly for hanging bananas from the side of the basket. If you are planning on using this in a coffee station, the hooks could also hold your mugs. I love the versatility of these baskets and I really think they look great on my kitchen counter. I will place the product link down below in the description box for your convenience if you'd like to pick up this awesome product. Again, I'd like to thank Mayfert for sponsoring this portion of today's video and taking our fruit storage to the next level. Please let me know down below if you guys are planning on trying any of these breakfast items or if you just enjoyed watching me meal prep for my family. If you are new here, I hope that you guys stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.